Hi, I'm Dave Bricker, and I am a graphic designer, and I'm also a writer, and I'd like to show you how to use Adobe InDesign CS5 to get your books online in flipbook form, and I'm going to augment Adobe's functionality with a little widget of my own that you'll be able to download at the end, but <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start. I have a little scaling bar here. My book is here, and I can scale it to fit pretty much any monitor from 0 to 200 percent and this works like a standard flipbook I can grab a page peel it back uh, or I can just click on the corners which is a lot faster and I'm releasing this book a chapter at a time you can see that a number of my table of contents entries are grayed out but that I can click on the ones that are here and jump thumb through the book and once I get to the second one, I have this page grayed out, and if I click, it automatically takes me back to the table of contents page. I can control exactly which pages are visible. And uh, also, it looks somewhat like a real book. I've got some nice shading on the pages and things like that. So I have this book that's complete, and I'm going to start with another one. I have a draft of a novel that I'm going to use as an example. Let me close this. <clears throat> Here you can see my Adobe InDesign file and uh, the pages and things. I'm going to go to this new book, Currents, which is at this point exactly as I've typeset it. I've left it in spreads and it's fairly conventional. Um, if I go, just to show you how this works, if I go to Export, I have a folder for my Currents Interactive here. I'm going to keep this separate from my other documents. And I choose Flash Player SWF. I'm going to leave that name. That's fine. I'm going to hit Save. Replace the previous test version I have. And I'm going to click that I want to generate an HTML file and view the SWF after exporting. There are some other really great features in here which are simple. <coughs> I want to include the interactive page curl. It's going to turn this into a book automatically. And under the advanced section, I can set the frame rate of my Flash movie, which I'm going to leave. If I rasterize pages, it's going to turn every page into a bitmap. And um, there's really no advantage I see to doing that because uh, Otherwise, what happens if you leave this off, it will rasterize all of your text. Um, uh, it'll convert it to vectors, flash vectors, which are much faster to load, and they can be scaled to any size in the browser without uh, losing quality. The other thing is screen resolution is 72. I'm going to set my resolution to 144, which will allow somebody to zoom in up to 200%. If you had a little tiny book and you wanted somebody to go, say, to 400%, you could set this to, to 300, which is print resolution. But what's nice is this is going to automatically scale any graphics that you have for you. And I'm going to just set the JPEG quality to high. Um, at this point, I'm going to hit OK. And it's telling me the document is using the CMYK blend space. If you're preparing a document for print, you use cyan, magenta, yellow, and black ink. If a document's going to the screen, we want to use the RGB color space. And it's saying, go to edit, uh, choose document RGB from edit transparency blend space. I'm going to cancel my export. Um, and let's find this. Um, edit transparency blend space I'm gonna set this to RGB this is going to allow this uh, all of the graphics are going to be converted to RGB if they're CMYK I have only black and white in this one but it's a good exercise to go through let's go back to our export as SWF save replace my existing test version generate view hit OK no warnings this time. It's going to take a moment. I have 230 pages here, 
and here we go and you can see the book here in my browser and you may notice that this was my title page here it's added a blank page for this page for the spread the other thing is notice that with pure white I'm losing my image of my page corner here it's nice it'll let me take it take it beyond the, the screen but this is pretty bleached out as far as its appearance. I can go through the whole book. It all looks good. It may even try, because I've used um, style sheets to determine my table of contents, it's actually linking me automatically to my... Uh, the links are done for me, which is great. I have an active table of contents. Uh, this is great. I have images in here. and. Um, that's a manual table of contents I created by hand rather than using the InDesign table of contents feature so those links don't work. But we can see there are some flaws in this. It's functional, but it doesn't look like a book. I'm going to go back here to InDesign and there are a couple of things I want to do. I have master pages and having already done this, I'm going to copy and paste some things from my, my other master. I'm going to get some of these blends I've created and I'll give you some details on them in a moment. I'm going to go to my A master and paste in place which is shift option command V or shift alt option V I believe on a PC and I've added some shadows here and if we look at our gradients Here's the gradient, and you can see that these go sort of from a brown to a white. And if you look at the layer, they're at 15%, so they're very subtle. The other thing I'm going to do is go to my paper color, which is currently white, and I'm going to double-click that. I want this to be RGB, and I'm just going to use my yellow slider and go to about, instead of 255, 245 which is going to give me a very subtle cream colored paper and you can see how that warms up now there are a few problems I haven't solved yet but let's go back here and you can see how much better the page looks already and I need to apply those to my other masters to get this to work so I'm going to go to my B plane master which has no page numbers or headers I'm going to paste in my gradients and you can see things changing here already and these should now all be done I have a plain page which I'm going to leave alone let's see C looks done because it's based on the other oh, strange artifact in there okay so if I test this movie It's going to export my SWF file. It's taking a little bit longer because it's got to add the gradients. The nice thing about those gradients is they are digital vector gradients and um, they don't take up a lot of bandwidth. And now you can see as I go through shadowing on the edge of the pages gives me a lot of definition against the background so I can click and go through what I want to do in the next section is show you how to add the covers because you can see that in my very first page here it added a blank and uh, then I'll show you how to add the slider control and um, we'll have a complete book